early 1882, Dublin City Council granted the freedom of the city to Charles Stuart Parnell. Later that year, on the 15th of August 1882, Parnell attended the unveiling ceremony for the O'Connell Monument on Sackville Street, now O'Connell Street. Parnell did not know then that a monument to honour him would be erected nearly 30 years later. The monument was to be funded through the efforts of a voluntary body, the Parnell Committee. Augustus Sandguden, an Irish-born sculptor well known for his public monuments in the United States, accepted the commission to make the Parnell Monument. Sandguden planned a monument which would mix sculpture and architecture. The original concept of a bronze figure of about 8 feet high, placed by a bronze table, was to be set against a 30-foot pyramid. This form was already used in the Wellington Monument obelisk, which is in the Phoenix Park. Sangoden said that the entire monument for Parnell should be as simple, impressive and austere as possible, in keeping with the character of the Irish cause as well as of Parnell. He presented Parnell in what he considered a noble and calm manner, depicted in an open frock coat, with one hand resting on a table and the other extended dramatically as if making a point at a parliamentary debate. The nearby rotunda is neoclassical in style, and to honor this, Sangaden decorated the base of the monument in swags and bucrania, which explains the odd proximity of ox skulls to Parnell's feet. The shaft of the monument is constructed in undecorated ashlar granite. The stone was described as Chantala granite from Galway, with an inlaid trefoil of Barna granite embracing the base and pedestal. The names of the 32 counties and provinces on bronze plaques around the base were part of an earlier scheme for the four-sided pyramid, representing the four provinces. These were kept for the revised triangular shaft. A passage from one of Parnell's speeches was used for the inscription. On the 1st of October 1911, the monument was unveiled to large crowds. At the base of the statue, the Irish inscription reads, Gorivigid dia era de clan which in English means that God may make Ireland flourish for her people.